He kind of looks undead, which is definitely my type. I stand and deliver the shots at myself. A chance in acquisition alone, mostly. I love the idea of spending all my time seeing you. I'm alone and I'm seeing you. Your necrosis is subtly tucking me back. I'm back on the train. I would ride daily schedule. I've committed so much, I should have been committed. Ever feel different, had a change of heart, kicked a book down my ravine, I wish you were predictable. Black to plucking, ephemera shutters, conversation with skin too deep, I cut my ring finger. I will have time for you in the near future where I can just stare off into your resistance plan. Fuck me, you did. I'm exhausted, rejuvenated on your breast. You really hold me. I don't feel like an animal all the time. Animal posited as insect, insect posited as lesser being. Is that got the least mole in your pocket or are you just fucking, you know, I love you and miss you and want to be in your world. I wish I were holding you now. Deaf, cold idea. Irradiate the edges of shrapnel metal teeth they don't survive in cages, made to show I doubt foremost that my boyfriend has no soul. Dive in and out of all I've burned in edges, in cages, the lack therefore, a surplus, a large festival, many lights, and I hope I die before I'm expected to rationalize all the chances I've given him to change, and how my emotions are annoying enough for us both. Ripped apart, you rip me apart. Collage million dead. Collage donde queda mi cuerpo el temporal como Dios en mil partes. Clothing is point of impact. A totem is a wrap around a city as it is engagement with one's surroundings and engagement with that which has been worn out, discarded, and filtered into alms buckets and newly tagged. I wear my surroundings on my feet. When it wears out, I see only my vantage is worn. I fall apart with the assumption that I can do any more than cover myself in a sheet and hope for the singularity. What is in a name other than reference to the stolen? The blend into landmass is a step closer to answering the question, am I the garments I inhabit? How do they inhabit me? Arsenal burgeoning forth, every locale proves a new shot at self-concept via collection. Mexico City proves a communion with characters that come to dom their surroundings, to don sentience, Crushed velvet, massage onto canvas, stretched onto body near my Fulbright era rug, clutching at the danger and muse in the day of the streets. Can one work we're not discovering for survival? Breaking down in 2013, I found myself tossed asunder by the volition of t-shirts and other ephemera. How had I earned trust so immaterial as to become sentient? I lent mine to fiber, from which rose an aura beating out of me, out of the cloth, onto the canvas, a portal into all I did and all I was at the moment of conception. In the area immediately surrounding, I delve into relationships with those I direct to carry on the little I've instructed, for the objects have implanted their own memories onto my scalp, back onto them, onto the players and the stage, a silent rapport. I'll never see the world in the same way again. I'm in conversation with the immortal, indigeneity, the clay has dried, walls healed. Only through conversation can the material escape temporality. I wish to temporarily disperse my memory to this. I'll never see the world in the same way. I'm in conversation with the immortal, digeneity. Clay has dried, walls healed. Only through conversation can the material escape terminality. I wish to terminate my life if only for a second. Master of none, I hope you don't take this dick the wrong way. I'm mad, like oof, mad, no white knight safety. Why did you choose to do this, poster girl? I guess folks do it all the time after different people. Guess shit's always messy, oh my god. <laughs> I feel fucked up in the head, mostly at most a resource for discard. Femme as point of intangibility, son and Icarus, never again. One in my same pool. Take your chances. Destroy somebody, please. The more I fuck with the art world, my pool stays dirty. I could see everyone in it, especially my high school camel crush. That one relationship I'll never forget. Getting my hand stuck in the Pringles can. Can you ever not? I'll never stop missing school. LMAO. Okay, one more. Uh, okay, this one. 
If I could drop out of the world, I would, right onto Mars, then I'd be a settler, and my head would explode, like in that Simpsons episode that made me cry. Thank you. Thank you.